Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco number 4131CRL clear anodized aluminum automatic door bottom with an EPDM insert. This is a surface or semi mortise model, and it's an automatic door bottom. So let's start at the beginning with this. Automatic door bottoms, in general, the, the way to sum them up is that when the door is closed, the last few degrees of the closing cycle, the bottom drops automatically. So when the door is closed, the bottom drops automatically, sealing the bottom of the door. When you open the door, it snaps back up into its housing. It's really that simple. So let's begin by uh, describing uh, this specific model by Pemco, the 4131CRL. So. What we have here is an automatic door bottom by Pemco. You have an end that has this bolt sticking out of it. We're going to call that the hinge side. We're going to call this the plunger. Then you have the other end that doesn't have that, and we're going to call it the lock side. Okay. Now, these are generally surface mounted where you apply them right to the face of the door. You can also take the bottom of the door and route the entire bottom of the door and then install this such that it's flush with the face. You can do that as well. Um, I see that often in hotels uh, is where I see that, a mortised version, of a uh, semi-mortised version of this. Pemco wants to know the hand when they manufacture this unit. They want to know the hand of the door. Um, I have to admit, I'm not sure what specifically hands this unit at the factory. Um, their documentation has even been observed to read non-handed, but they want to know the hand of the unit. So when you're ordering it, be prepared to tell us the hand of the unit. The factory will just inevitably ask. This door bottom is available in clear uh, aluminum, as you see here. Uh, a dark bronze, you can get it in satin nickel, other colors. So now, automatic door bottoms. We talked earlier about how this is the hinge side. Now imagine when this is attached to the face of the door and this plunger is depressed, which is the action of the door closing because this is on the hinge side and by the way, only on the push side. You can't install it anywhere else. You have to install it on the push side so that when the door closes, this will come in contact with the frame. As you continue to push the door closed, this has nowhere to go but in. The plunger can be turned counterclockwise so that it has more projection from the edge of the housing. It can be turned clockwise to turn it in. The amount that this projects is directly related to how much distance you're asking it to drop. When you're going about your installation, you're going to want to stand on the push side of the door with your tape measure. If you are installing it in a surface mount fashion, you're going to measure the distance between the stops and deduct about an eighth of an inch. That is the dimension that you want to cut this to. Now, speaking of cutting it, only allow yourself about two inch of trim for this. Or a better idea is that when you order it, indicate in the comment field the net length you want us to supply it to. The factory is already cutting all the components to length. Might as well just cut it to the exact length you need, eliminating the need for you know cutting uh, by you when you get it in the site. So push side of the door between the stops, deduct an eighth of an inch. That's your net size if you're service mounting it. You can envision that if you're going to semi-mortise it, you need to go the width of the door, and pretty much that would be your size. Keep in mind that your door might be beveled or square edge, so you might want to compensate for that a little bit but that would be a different dimension. So when you order it, you'll get it to length, or if you're going to cut it, you'll get it attached to the bottom of the door. You're going to want to leave yourself about a 3 eighths of an inch gap underneath the door from where you physically locate this on the bottom of the door. And then you're going to want to take that plunger and get it turned in almost all the way. You don't want it sticking out too far at all. Obviously, you'll use a screwdriver for doing that. Okay. Now, 
you've got your length, you've got your height off the bottom of the door, you attach it to the door, then with this broad all the way in, you then can begin to close your door. You'll notice that the plunger will be pushed in. Now that's happening because, well, when you push the plunger in, you can see over here, no, pardon me, over here, that it begins to drop. And the amount of that plunger sticking out is directly related to how much drop you're going to be dealing with. About up to three quarter inch is what this is designed to handle. Uh, you want to start with the plunger mostly turned into the housing because you don't want to damage it immediately. So I've got this turned out several revolutions. Now as I push this you can see it drops down a lot further. Okay. Now you would never cut the plunger side. You would only, which is the lot of the hinge side. You'd never cut the hinge side. You would only cut the lock side. How that happens is the plunger is connected to a flat spring. That flat spring, there's evidence of its uh, mechanical attachment here. It's this little rolled pin that's here holding it in. You can really not get anywhere close to that rolled pin. You're going to want to stay over here in terms of the trim length. But that's how it works. Plunger goes in, forces the flat spring to belly. That bellying action pushes the entire mechanism down. Okay, so now the action of the automatic door bottom is best described this way. When the plunger goes in, you see how it drops down uneven. Well, an actual representation of, of field conditions would be my thumb is going to act as the sill. So as soon as the bottom drops and comes in contact with the sill, it then will even out the rest of it. So I'm limiting the drop with my thumb over here. I limit the drop and then you can see that it will come down. So the action is it drops down and then comes like this, giving you an ability to seal against a sill that may not be level. Not wavy, but maybe not level. And that's, in my opinion, a, 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 a paramount reason why automatic door bottoms are a very elegant solution and should be considered all the time. Another reason that they are an elegant solution is because you can envision through this process that when all you're doing is just dropping your seal, there's nothing dragging. All you're doing is dropping your seal. Nothing dragging to wear out, wear out the finish on your and you know therefore allow a, an extreme long uh, life expectancy from the unit. Uh, EPDM is a synthetic uh, rubberized type material. It's quite soft and pliable. It has a rigid backer that the foam portion is attached to. Okay. Um, it is a fire rated compliant product. This is at a 32 inch length. You can order any length that you want. Just indicate in the comment field what length you want us to cut the material back to. And we'll be happy to do that. I'm a big fan of doing it. You might not want be able to do it because the job site might be an hour each way and you'll just cut it once you get there, but you know that they're three foot doors. That's not going to be a problem for you at all. Uh, there is an image below this video showing uh, everything important dimensionally about this item. Let's go over that now. You can see that it's 1930 seconds thick, the extrusion, so that's basically 5 eighths. Okay, a little bit shy on 5 eighths. One in 27, 30 seconds. What is that, inch and three, inch and seven eighths maybe? Yeah, about inch and seven eighths. It's going to come with screws to hold it on. I'm going to show you the entire fastener package now. <clears throat> so you'll get a couple of, uh, you're going to get, in addition to the screws, so just like a truss head style screw here, it's going to go right right through your installation, hold it onto the door, no problem, you'll get plenty of screws for the length. You are also going to get, as you can think, uh, now that you, when, once you think of it, a couple of thin end plates, finished end plates. One's got the hole in the shape of the plunger, the other does not, okay? So obviously those are gonna attach over here. Okay, give it a finished look. Two little holes here that you see, you're going to get screws to hold those on. There's plenty in this, there's four in this package. Get it all attached. 
After that, the other thing you're going to get is a flathead screw. That is for attaching to the jam. If you have a wood frame, you're going to want to attach it on the wood frame, drill and countersink, attach the screw, such that every time the plunger makes contact with the wood frame, you don't have metal hitting wood. Over time, you'll have a problem uh, with it. So you attach that screw to the wood frame, and that'll give it a, a, a hard surface so that you're not creating a divot in your... Uh, in your, in your wood frame. The only complaint that I've ever heard about these is that this is one out of 10,000, maybe one out of 25,000, is that the unit is a bit loud, meaning when the door is closed, you got your seal. When you go and open the door, you hear that clanking sound. Pemco has models that have a rubberized, you can see where the sound's coming from. They've got models that have a rubberized uh, position in there, which does two things. It helps the overall uh, job of the door bottom doing its job to prevent air from coming through the extrusion, through the extrusion here, uh, but it also deadens the sound. It's not an issue. It's not something that, you know, I think should really influence your decision overall, but standard duty items like this from Pemco are going to not feature any sort of provision for deadening sound. Review maybe their entire line uh, in order to have a better idea of what you're dealing with. Um, in terms of an overall uh, product offering, they make standard heavy duty items for lead line doors, acoustical doors, um, mortised style. You know, they have a full, a comprehensive offering. There's also a link below this video to what's called the instructions. It's everything we just went over. Uh, these are really easy to put on and install. Everything is listed there. There's nothing that I don't believe I've left out. Um, and if you have any questions on anything PEMCO related in terms of automatic door bottoms, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.